and if I click on submit, you will see this particular pop up will come and it will say all fields are mandated. So, all the data which I have mentioned here will move to the backend sheet. And it, hi everyone, welcome to Excel Dose. My name is Vishal, and in today's video, I will show you that how to create an automatic project tracker in Google Sheet. So, let's get started with the video. This video is divided into two sections. In first section, I will explain you that all the functionality and the different scenario this project tracker handle. And in the second section, I will explain you that how you can use this particular code for your own project trackers. So let's start with the first section in which I will explain you that how the functionality or objection handling this particular tracker handle. Now, first we have to enter here the name of the project, which is Excel Dose, and the current status is yet to start. Cost is one, two, three, and total hours I will mention it as a 12 hours. And if I click on submit, you will see this particular pop up will come and it will say all fields are mandatory because we have to fill data in all the fields. So now I will fill here the country which is India. Service type is like a digital marketing. Owner is Ram and the start date is today's date which is a 26 Jan. For the end date, I will select the previous date which is a 22nd Jan. So now if I click on submit, now you will see I will get another pop up will say which says form duplicate project name because this project name is already there in the our backend sheet which is excel dose now it's always mandatory to give your unique project name so i will mention it as a test 4 and if i click on submit again now you will see this particular pop-up will again come with, which says add correct end date because we have given a end date as a 22nd jan instead of having a 26 jan or onward right so we have to give the end date as a maybe a 30th Jan and if I click on submit. So all the data which I have mentioned here will move to the backend sheet and it and it will add a new entry in the backend sheet. So this is how the functionality of submit button works. Now let's see the functionality of find and update. Now how this particular thing works in let's say you have a already a different project and you want to update the their status or maybe a cost or maybe anything right. So how what we have to do is we have to simply click on find and here we have to mention the project name. So I will mention here the project name as Excel dose and this particular thing will also works in a uppercase or the lowercase. It does not matter how you have filled the backend sheet. It will look into the all the possible scenario maybe in uppercase or the lowercase. And if I click on OK, it will fetch all the details from the backend sheet and if and it will update it here. And now if I have to change the status, what I have to do is I have to simply click on completed and then click on update. The moment I click on update, again, I will get this pop-up which says project data updated successfully and then click on OK. Now if, if I move to the backend sheet, you can see here it has automatically updated the current status of the project name Excel Dose. For the functionality of clear button. How this work is, let's say I have already filled this particular data and I want to clear all this data. Simply I have to click on clear. So it will automatically delete all the data which is mentioned in all these fields. Now let's move to the second section of the video where I will explain to you that how this code works or how you can get this code or the sheet. I have mentioned this sheet link in the video description. You can simply click on that. The moment you click on the sheet link, you will get this particular sheet then simply click on file and then click on make a copy the moment you create your own copy the code will automatically copy it into your own sheet in that what you have to do is you have to simply click on extension then click on app script the moment you click on app script you will see this particular code will copy it into your own sheet and now here you have to make a couple of changes as per your project requirement for this particular project we are taking the cell reference from a c5 c7 so that's the reason we have mentioned it as here as a c5 c7 c9 and here you can see the all the headers which have mentioned here like uh, project name, total hours, owner. So you can see all these details are mentioned here. And this is your backend sheet where all the data has been stored, right? In my case, the backend sheet is like backend. So that's the reason I have mentioned it as a backend. So now let's say you wanted to update the text in the message box. So simply you can modify it here, here also. Simply you have to look for message box and you can update all the text whichever you want to change, right? So this is how you can create your own automatic project tracker in Google Sheet. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment and subscribe to Excel Dose. Thank you so much for watching.